CNN recently reported from a website that was supported by, it was actually a State Department funded uh, project, that the average American has, and, and this would be obviously very difficult to work out, but it's an interesting to think about. The average American has 59 slaves working for them around the world. 59. In other words, your lifestyle is based, our lifestyle, not yours, I'm putting myself in there too, our lifestyle is based on the suffering of other people because, for instance, and I've stopped eating chocolate for this reason. When I found out, and, and you can see the film on this, if you, there's a documentary that was done on it, on the child labor in harvest, harvesting cocoa. That 70% of cocoa on this planet is harvested by child labor. And so when you're eating that chocolate, your pleasure is somebody else's pain. And if you don't think that's having an impact on your being, then you have to wonder why everybody's on Prozac in these countries. Why are people so depressed? They're depressed because, because much of what we're enjoying, the fruits of our cheap lifestyles, of our cheap gasoline, of our cheap clothes, of our cheap shoes, all of these things, the Walmart world of cheap goods is based on exploited labor from other places. Not only is that exploited labor, the pain and suffering of other people, but it's the direct result is the unemployment that's happening all over these Western countries. They're losing their jobs because they're going to Walmart and buying something that's made in, in, in Indonesia with labor laws that don't exist, often in incredibly difficult conditions, people working in factories that are really subhuman, and they will buy that instead of buying something that was made by somebody in their own town. There used to be people that made shoes, Americans and Canadians and these other places, they actually used to produce things. That's no longer the case. But it's not fair because it's based on the exploitation of other peoples. And we have to deal with the fact that this is the life that we are living.